Hello everybody. Uh, I kind of wanted to remake one of my grab and drag uh, videos. Uh, I'm trying to pull toke monos here and I have a lot of people ask me about this, how I do it, um, lots of different questions. Um, anyway, what I did was the grab and drag on this plate with a fresh toke swab. I grew the, the toke, uh, it was F8 so now it's on F9. Uh, and what I did was um, the grab and drag. I basically took the swab. It's in a lot of other videos already. Um, I took the uh, I took the swab and I ripped off a little piece of the cotton uh, with the tweezers, you know, sterilized tweezers, flame sterilized. And then I just essentially drug it. You can see here on the back. I just basically took that piece of cotton and I drug it in here. Okay. And now what has happened is three days later, I have see this, you guys, cling film. See how easy that is. Hey. Um, I've already pulled monos off this, so uh, this is why I don't have the hood on. That's why the sound quality is so much better. Um, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't make a video doing this because I really, really, really want to get my toke monos. And so I pulled off eight of them already. I'm hoping at least one of them will be, or just one of them, uh, will be a mono when I check them later. So I can open this up and talk without the, without the fan blower on the hood. And so, yeah, I'm not too worried. So you see what I did there? And I don't know how well you can see, but there are little, little tiny sort of um, spores. Hopefully single spores starting to germinate along there. I don't know how well you can see this. But you see where there's a the little fuzzy things there? Anywho, you guys, one of the things I realized, let me, let me say that first. One of the things I realized, you guys, is um, I should have made this agar stiffer. Um, I, I should have made like two and a half percent, maybe um, a little over two. Uh, it was really, really quite hard to get in there with my number 11 scalpel blade. Uh, it makes sort of a little triangle. So usually, here, let me just do it, I'll show you. So you come in here and let's just pretend. Um, you kind of, let's see, there's a little fuzzy bit. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but. I usually go in there and make one, two, and then the third slice, you kind of scoop under there and whoop. See, this is why I had trouble because this agar is not stiff enough. So, as you can see there, little, little, little tiny piece, small, oops, small, oops, wrong way. Smaller than that, you want to get something smaller than that. Right? I don't know where the hell the camera is. So um, I put this, uh, I put four, I did that four times on this plate, do, do, do. I put four of them on there and I put four on this one. Okay, so again, you know, I don't want to move those. Move those and I hope I just didn't on accident. <laughs> um, this is the tricky thing about making videos, you guys, when you're actually doing stuff. Uh, this is like quite important for me to get this right. So oftentimes it's kind of hard to think and, and make videos at the same time while you're trying to do something important. Anyway, very, very, very tiny piece of agar, put it on there too. And I will check those after about four or five days, they'll grow out. Do not let them grow into each other. And hopefully one of those will not have clamps. So I did eight of them, hopefully one out of eight. Um, so a couple things I noticed. I should have made the, the agar stiffer. It would have been a lot easier to pry those little chunks out of there uh, on that third cup, uh, third cut. Uh, the other thing is uh, I probably should have made these plates darker. You can see. <laughs> white kind of translucent mycelium a lot better on a darker plate i wasn't really thinking about the other day i haven't done this for a few months and i just grabbed the first plate and unfortunately that was pretty much this weird like pink color plate uh so i would use darker colored plates um and also like i said make the egg a little bit stiffer it'll be easy um i usually maybe only pick three or six but this time i decided these look some of them look like they've already grown together it's really different every time uh, anyway one of these eight will hopefully be a mono carry on remember you only need one right and that can mate it with all the other 36 monos i've got so this grab and drag technique as, as people have christened it uh or maybe i christened it that i don't remember <laughs> um is is basically a really 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 good way to get monos you just have basically one plate uh and now assuming that i haven't gotten you know contaminated this you can do a multi uh you can do basically a t0 kind of multi spore and you can make spawn out of this although i've probably contaminated this plate now by spitting all over it so what i'll likely do since i already have a good toke f8 isolate i'll probably just use these for the monos if i don't get a mono i'll just try it again so I still have a bunch of, I have a bunch of toke swabs. So if one of these eight is in a mono, I'll just try it again. I'll do the same thing, grab and drag. Take my swab, grab a little piece of cotton, drag it through there. 
release at the end. So this is the neat thing about the grab and drag, right? You can get monos, you get your multi-score uh, plate that you can make spawn with if you're doing a pheno hunt, or you can um, just get a dicarion by letting these things grow together. If you forget about your monos and you let them grow together, um, you'll automatically get a dicarion. Um, so the, this is, there's a bunch of little ways of looking at that, whether you want that or not. Um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, I, I got got a warning on one of my other fruiting videos, so I might be going back to making the uh, you know these little lab type videos. Uh, anyways, I hope that was helpful, you guys. That's uh, the grab and drag. If you don't know what it is yet, find out. I got a bunch of other videos about it, um, and uh, I think that pretty much sums it up. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.